Hello everyone, Angelo O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor, and today I brought... Your sidekick, Damien. Hi everybody. And we're over here in the Sunstone Master Plan community, a brand new community. This one just opened up called Lyra Collection 1, I do believe, yes. Lyra Collection 2 is just right next door. They've been open since May, but they finally opened these ones, and it's an all two-story community they have four different floor plans to choose from in this one and we're going to take a tour of the leo and this is the largest floor plan in the collection one at 2762 square feet four to five bedrooms three bathrooms and bonus room which is the loft a covered patio and the garage is 22 feet deep or you can expand it to 24 feet deep base price of this one is starting at $562,990. Now that depends on the elevation. This is the highest elevation. You have three different elevations to choose from. Um, this one looks like the modern. That's probably more Spanish and that's probably more contemporary. But they still look very Spanish Mediterranean to me. <laughs> um, and that does not include your structural options, your lot premiums or upgrades. And this price could change by the time you watch this video. So we're going to take a tour of this one. I think the price is very good. And I really love the Sunstone Master Plan community, which is located in the northwest part of the valley, right off of Kyle Canyon Road. And um, a lot of these homes have the side entry. Some people don't like it. I like it personally because of I shop a lot on Amazon and I want to hide my Amazon packages, right? So they have this deep hidden door to the side. Alrighty, let's do a quick pan this way and a pan that way. All right, so let's go this way for a change. This feels like a familiar floor plan. The Leo, I like it. They have six recessed lighting, that's probably extra. They have the ceiling fan up there. And I actually love these cabinet colors. Yeah. I would go for these cabinet colors. Yeah, we went with the extra long island. That's probably 12 feet, right? Mm, yeah. With the double sided island with the double cabinets this is a great feature to have. Not sure if this is an upgrade feature to have the cabinets there. They went with the quartz countertops. Love, 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 love these cabinets. They're beautiful. With the brushed gold pools they actually did the soft close which sometimes in the model homes for woodside they don't the nice flat panel cabinets very modern hmm, i don't know if it is the only feature i don't like yeah underneath they usually don't have the extra upgraded i don't like having the microwave right here i would prefer to either have a drawer microwave or have the microwave oven combination i mean it's great to have a double oven but at the same time i think this is just so bulky i don't like it but that's me personally. They have the GE profile appliances with the five burners here and the nice vent hood, which is a great feature. I love the stacked tile behind it, such a great update. And then they also went with the updated glass. For me personally, I don't know if I would do that just because I don't have anything to really showcase. Yeah, more like storage. Yeah, but you could do some nice vases or some greenery in there. So maybe I would like it. Uh, and then this large island. Now, the only thing I noticed with Woodside, they don't do those the garbage, garbage mm -hmm. in the islands like, like right yeah exactly that's a it's a missed feature they do have the large single basin farmhouse sink and they probably went with the builder grade hardware here uh, let's take a look I love the double ovens such a great feature to have and let's see and a nice pantry so now I always like to point this out every time I do a Woodside home. When you go to the design studio, you have different wall textures. I don't know if you can see it. This is called the Santa Fe wall texture. That's an upgraded feature. And also typically the square edges is an upgraded feature versus a rounded edge. But I like the square edges because if you look at the baseboards, it's not traditional, it's very modern. Obviously this is like a three inch baseboard. I would go with upgraded five or six inches just because I like the thicker baseboards. Um, so that's a, always an upgraded option and I always like to point that out in the Woodside Homes. I really love this with the wine fridge here. This is beautiful. 
Very nice. Now I always like to go over this type of stuff. When you find a home you like, you're gonna pick your lot. Then you're gonna pick what's called your structural options, which could be maybe a bigger slider, extra things. And then once you go into contract, they're gonna schedule an appointment to the design studio. And you're just gonna spend a couple hours at the design studio. You're gonna pick your different appliance packages, what type of cabinets you want, what type of countertops you want, what type of fixtures, faucets you want, what type of hardware you want. Do you want the um, brushed nickel or do you want the black mat? Me, I would like the black mat, right? And I'm sure this is an upgraded feature. Then you get to pick your flooring. Normally, the wet areas like your kitchen, laundry room, and bathroom come tiled, whereas the rest of the house is carpeted. Um, no one likes carpet in Vegas, and I say this in the last couple of videos, that people would prefer, uh, for resale purposes, um, to have hardly any to no carpet, right? And if you do have carpet, I would only do the upstairs carpeted, or if you can, only the bedrooms and everywhere else do hard surface, like this is the, a 12 by 24 tile, or I would do the luxury vinyl flooring or engineered hardwood. Uh, so FYI, it just, carpet does not last long here in the desert, especially if you have animals. So I don't think we can get into this garage, but it looks like you can have an option of getting the epoxy flooring. They do have the tankless water heater here. There's a door to the backyard um, from the garage, which is an additional upgrade. And what's this? Probably hall closet. Coats. Yep, they no, like to go under the stairs. The, uh, this home just has a bedroom downstairs, so let's look at it. You have a full bathroom down here because you have the bedroom downstairs. I do believe you would have an option of making this a double vanity, not 100% sure. And then they went with just the shower insert with the nice tile stacked, subway-like tile. This feels like a floor plan over there in um, Luna. I can't place it what floor plan it feels like, but it feels like a floor plan over at Luna. Let's go take a look at the backyard and then we'll go upstairs. Now the monthly HOA is a total of $100. 55 of that goes to Sunstone and 45 of that goes to the community. It is a gated community and the annual SIDS is $961, which isn't bad. Now this is a decent sized covered patio. I do believe it comes with the two recessed lights, but the pre-wire for a ceiling fan is an upgraded feature. Now when you go to the design studio, you are gonna pick your wire, you know, your electrical package. So a lot of these things are additional that you have to add. This is still a decent sized backyard. And this is where the gate is here. Now when you buy new construction, the front is always landscape, but your backyard is never landscape. I do believe it does come with the pavers. It's kind of extra windy out today. Got to yell a little so you can hear me. And the AC units are on the side of the house. Two big AC units. Okay. So, again, it's not going to come landscaped. You're going to have to get it landscaped. Usually, depending on the community, six months to a year. But you will have to get it approved through the HOA. So FYI on that. Now this community just opened, so they've sold a few lots, not too many, unlike the collection two where they are 50% sold out. So see here in the model, they went with the carpeting upstairs. Okay, let's do a pan. Love that wall feature. Love lofts. This is modeled. I've been in this floor plan before, but it was never called the Leo. Because you have the primary back here. Love that feature right there. See? I know this floor plan. Decent sized primary. I love the light and bright colors. They did the same cabinets with the quartz countertops, the undermount sinks, the brushed nickel hardware, and this nice decent sized shower. 
with a bench and the shower head here. Now this is nice and smart. Like if you know Pulte Home, sometimes they put the shower right there. It doesn't make sense, the shower head. So this is smart layout. Then you have a nice linen closet and your primary as well as the throne room and then a decent size walk-in closet. Oh, I like the stack tile up there. That's pretty. Very earthy. Love these earthy colors. Then you have another linen closet right here. This is interesting. They did this in one of the other models. So they put these hard surface flooring and made it into like a gym. Feels good in here. It's a good size room. Then you have bedroom number three. Yes. Decent size room as well. And then you have the guest bathroom upstairs with the nice double vanities, the cultured marble, no, sorry, quartz countertops, undermount sinks, the same cabinets as downstairs, which are beautiful. I would have liked to do black hardware, that'd be pretty. And then they also have this nice tub, which is a um, deep tub, and then they did the tiles. Very nice. Don't like this color wall though, it's like a yellowy color. Then here's the laundry room. All these cabinets are upgraded feature as well as the sink, but sometimes everyone loves having a sink in the laundry room, so that's worth the upgrade. I like this tile that they put on here, it's very pretty. I guess it's soft clothes. Now, when you buy new construction, the washer, dryer, and refrigerator, don't come with the home, that's an added cost. You can get it with the builder, but I highly recommend that you don't get it on your own because the builder tends to charge too much for it. So let me know in the comments what you think of this floor plan. I think it's a great floor plan. To summarize, this is the Leo Plan 7 at 2752 square feet with four to five bedroom option, three bathrooms with the loft covered patio and the 22 deep two car garage or option for a 24 deep garage. The base price, and I always go with the highest one because they do have you the different elevations, but I go with the highest route at 562,990. That does not include your lot premium or structural options. Um, if you are thinking about buying a new construction home or in this community, you need to make sure that you bring your real estate agent with you on the very first visit, especially an agent that knows about new construction and you can call me at call Angela at 702-370-5112 and most importantly make sure you hit that like and subscribe button all right folks we'll see you on the flip side